Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. Last time we finished off Cloud Spires, uh, I mostly enjoyed it. They had uh, one of the egg thieves from the first game, which made me a bit uncomfortable because of their design, which is not good. Um, but this time we're going to go to Molten Crater and hopefully they won't have an egg thief like from the first game. I know that this game is themed around finding dragon eggs, but they don't always have to be held by racist stereotype thieves. Just a, just a little heads up, just a little tip, something to keep in mind. Okay. Uh... <sighs> anyway, um, so Molten Crater. Uh, I know that in the previous episode, like, the guy who went here said something about the Tiki Lodge. So, I guess we'll be seeing some Tiki stuff. Um, and he had, like, an... Australian Outback accent. It's that guy, I think. Is it the same guy? Now it's a different guy. That's Clay. Uh, the one who went in was Rocky, so I guess there's multiple. Oh, hello. There's a locked chest there. I guess there are keys in this game. I forget whether there were keys in the second one. There were definitely keys in the first game. I remember those. Hmm. Anyway, let's get some treasure. Uh, let's go way too close to the lava. The way it looks is interesting. It looks like... Like it's not lava, like it's molten cheese or something. Because of the way it's flowing. It looks tasty. I mean, it's, you know, super heated cheese, so you, you shouldn't eat it. It'll, it'll burn your mouth, but... Melted cheese is delicious. <laughs> okay, that's a... a Rhinoceros? Rhinoceroses are an endangered species, so I feel bad about that. Yeah, that looks extremely like it's a river of cheese or something. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, there's a part in, um, The Curse of Monkey Island, the third game, where there's, like, this enormous vat of molten cheese, and that, I'm just thinking of that. Uh... I love that game. I should play that again. I wonder if it's available on the Switch. Like, it's a point-and-click adventure game, so I don't know how well it would work on the Switch, but I like playing things on the Switch for recording purposes, so... Oh, hello, Ricky. Did you know that dragons are just a kind of puppy? Ah! Ah! Oh, no. I've succumbed to the cheese. Oh, no. I don't think reigniting is the most appropriate action after that. I mean, you saw what just happened. <laughs> I guess dragons aren't fireproof in this game. Even though they they breathe that stuff. It is actually very hard to get across there without getting hit. Um, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that, to be honest. Um. Hmm. Do I just hit the game's difficulty spike, or am I just doing something wrong? <laughs> hmm. I mean, this is the third, th fourth level, the third regular level in World One, so I doubt it's supposed to be a difficulty spike. I can't get back up there though, so I actually have to go this way. Okay, maybe my flame has more range than I thought. Yeah, I think it does. It's actually not difficult. I just have to flame earlier. Okay. <laughs> that explains that. Uh... Are these little guys... What the heck is that thing? Okay, it has a butterfly in it. Whatever it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, gems, gems. Gems. Did I come from this direction? I think so. Yes, yeah, that's the entrance down there, right? Yeah. Okay, just, just making sure. Alright, I still think that that river of molten cheese looks really tasty. And the level's gonna be full of them. Be sure to keep your friend Sparks the Dragonfly healthy, Spyro. If his health is low, torch a little creature like the slug below me to release a butterfly. Uh, is, it's a slug? Oh, it is a slug! Okay, I, I couldn't tell. I thought it was like a fuzzy thing. Like, some sort of weird dog. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, go away. Let's torch a little creature like the slug below you. There we go. Okay, so yeah, taking out these rhinos, who are endangered species by the way, is not that difficult. <laughs> you have more to say? No, you're just a save point. Okay. Uh, I want to go this way first, I reckon. <gasps> the key! Found the key. I feel powerful. Okay, then we want to go this way. Yeah, the flame has a lot more range than I'm realizing. I don't know if they changed it in the third game or something. Or if I've just been using my flame closer than I needed to for the entire time I've played a Spyro game, which is possible. <laughs> Good thing there's no such thing as convection, so flying slightly above a big vat of molten cheese doesn't hurt you at all. It's very helpful that physics works that way, and not the other way that it could work. Are you Rocky? They were giving them away at the Tiki Lodge last night. All right, Curly. Are you one of the Three Stooges? No. Are you from Cave Story? Don't know. Uh, hello. What am I looking at here? Note, Sergeant Bird is currently on an important mission to the inside of a cage. Tough luck, the sorceress. Oh, I have to come back here once I have Sergeant Bird to do this part. Right, okay. Oh, well, there's money bags. Hello, money bags. Spider, you're just in time. I saw two egg thieves run through this door. Well, actually, they paid me to guard their hideout, but that's irrelevant. I'll happily let you through the gate to chase them down for... A small finder's fee? Oh no. Thank you, Spyro. And best of luck catching those dastardly egg thieves. So they, they're gonna be the racial stereotypes I was worried about, aren't they? Uh, God damn it. Uh, well, let's just get this first. Uh, wow, this is uh, quite far from everything. Not too tricky to get back, but... It could be a bit of a threat if you're not super practiced with the flying mechanics. Oh god. Just a, that was a demo to show what happens if you're not super practiced with the flying mechanics. <laughs> oh, that's just a shortcut back to the beginning. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, well, I have to go back to the beginning anyway because that's where this is. Uh, there we go. I think I would like Sparks back. Um, if a slug could please, uh, wander by and be trod upon. There we go. Hello. Did I just get an extra life? I did. Huh. And instantly go- oh, okay. It's cause- it's cause it dropped the purple butterfly. Uh, I guess I can randomly do that. Cause the purple butterfly is an extra life and also a full heal, so. That's helpful. Uh, a little bit- Confusing because it was random, but helpful. Okay, I guess I gotta go chase down the um, thieves. <sighs> it is baffling to me that they made this worse in the remakes than it was in the original games. Okay. Hello. Are you the dragon looking for all those eggs? Yeah. I saw a shifty looking character with one over there. Okay. When you say a shifty looking character, do you mean a guy wearing a turban? Who clearly isn't white because uh yeah. That that's that's what they are in this game. <laughs> um Yep, there they are. 
He's wearing yellow turban this time instead of blue, so that's a bit different, but still. Hmm. That sure is a design decision that they made in this game. Okay, I won't be able to get all the gems and stuff because we can't get into the side path. Oh. Oh, hello. I found a secret by accident. I think we can supercharge into that. It looks like there are supercharged ramps, like in the first game. Uh, so I assume that's how we get that, uh, like, padded chest open. I just want to go around here and grab any junk that's just sort of lying around first. So there's less to worry about when we start chasing after the thieves. I don't know why they thought it was a good idea to put these back in the game. Is it supercharged? I don't seem to be gaining much speed. Maybe it's just regular charge. It's just like a charging platform you can charge on. Rather than like a super boosty thing. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be supercharging. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I mean, I'm just running on the charge platform. And I'm going very, very slow. I am confused. Um, what am I missing here? Is there like a power up gate I'm supposed to go through to activate supercharge that I didn't see? Because I know power ups often use power up gates in this game. I'm not seeing one though. I am a confused. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I can't just break this with like a head bulk, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, so we start charging along this line, and we go normal speed. We don't we don't get supercharged, like at all. It's just just normal speed. And I mean, I guess we can still chase them, but. I don't know how we're going to break the thing open. See, we're gaining on them. Moira? I like your bow, Moira. Hey, there goes another one. Oh, now the supercharge is activated. You didn't turn it on. Jerk. Oh, I see. It's, it's got like... Okay, now it makes more sense. Okay, it's a red one. Does red mean faster? Probably. And yeah, it's, it's still... It's still an Arabian guy in a turban, who's not white. <sighs> Kermit. Is it a frog? I mean, it's a dragon. <sighs> so no, it's not a frog, but it's kind of like a frog. I need to use the supercharge in order to ram into that, so... I think the easiest way is probably just drop off here, maybe? I'm mm, not sure. Oh no, that did the trick. There we go. Um, well, we're done in here. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything else we can do at this point apart from... Hang on. Is that the exit you're circling? Yes. Okay, I think I think we can't do much else because we need to be able to get into that door, and we can't do that without Sergeant Bird, who is later in the game. Uh, I believe. That's my understanding, anyway. 
So I guess this level's another one we can't complete in one video, which is annoying. Um, I know the second game did that too with the moves you had to go unlock and then backtrack, but eh, it's, it's still frustrating. I wonder if the idle heads are something I can reach. I don't think so, I don't remember seeing anything like that. It probably means it's inside that sub area. And yes, yeah, Sparks is definitely only pointing me towards this. Which I can't get into, so... Yeah, I guess that's it for this level at the moment. Um, what about 15 minutes? So I might just jump into the next level and see if I can get more stuff going on. Oh yeah, this game doesn't have the little cutscenes like Spyro 2 does. I just realised. Because yeah, Spyro 2, when you enter a level and when you exit, it gave you a little story cutscene about that level, gave you a bit of setting information. And usually some bad jokes. But this one doesn't do that, which is kind of a shame. <sighs> anyway, yeah, um, this game has a, a whole bunch more of those... Um, Arabic people who steal shit, so that's fucking terrible. <laughs> My god. I don't understand why they didn't do that better. It's, it's, it's not good. I think, by the way, over here, you can see, like, the characters we've been finding are, like, grabbing on. I'm guessing, like... Back one person from each of our five walls, we can help you use the balloon. Okay, so this is just like the talismans thing. You need to grab back, bring back someone from each of the worlds in order to, yeah. It's the same as the talismans in the previous game. You have to do each world in order to continue. Which again is unlike the first game, because in the first game, uh, you did ne didn't, you could entirely skip levels if you didn't want to do them. You just had to reach the right quota of eggs rescued or treasure collected or dragons unfrozen. Uh, so that's a really weird change. They did after the first game. Hello. Hey, my portal is working. I'll see you at the beach. Okay. Uh, well, we're going to the beach now. Um, seashell. What's that second word? Sure. Seashell. Shit. Sea. Shit. <laughs> seashell. Shore. She sells seashells by the seashore because she isn't respected as an archaeologist. I I'm not kidding, that's like what that tongue twister is about. It's like this woman who was, who had discovered a bunch of like really rare fossils and she was literally just selling them because she wasn't respected for her work in the scientific community. Look it up. Misogyny is terrible. Um, anyway. Oh, oh, uh, uh, underwater. Underwater level. Great. While I was gone, my friends borrowed the Rhinox submarine. Then they took it for a joyride. And then they smashed it into a big pile of rocks. Oddly enough, the Rhinox failed to see the humor in their actions and stuck my friends in the jail cell behind you. That sounds really funny. What, why would you get locked up for that? That's just messed up. I okay, guess so I have to get in there and rescue them. Okay. Hmm. I've talked about this before, but having some sort of flame attack underwater would really help improve these underwater levels. Because the, the charging pushes you forward real fast, obviously. Which is more of a problem underwater because it's hard to control than it is on land. Uh, and just being able to break things without being launched forward would be good. It could, it could shoot out like hot water or something, it doesn't need to be actual flames. I know fire underwater is kind of weird. Uh... Is that guy an enemy? It's like, like that duck or whatever who's swimming around? Mm. Yeah, the water controls are questionable. <laughs> uh, they leave something to be desired. I definitely prefer Odyssey swimming controls. 
Granted, I prefer Odyssey for everything. I love that game. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I should just want, at one point do a full regular playthrough of Odyssey. Because, I mean, I've done a full playthrough crouching, and I've done a bunch of little experiments, but I haven't played the game normally to all moons collected. On camera, anyway. I mean, I have, I have done it, like, twice, three times, just casually, because it's a super fun game and I love it. But I haven't, you know, recorded a full playthrough of the normal game. Uh, I was trying to do like a coinless, I was experimenting with that, coinless run. Um, I jumped off an edge every time I got a coin in order to reset the counter, which you can't do in a real coinless run, but I was just practicing. Uh, you have to actually reload a save. Uh, I got over 200 coins despite jumping off an edge every time I touched a coin. Just give you an idea of how many times I messed up. <laughs> it's very hard to do coinless odyssey. Uh... I wonder if treasureless Spyro is a thing. Like, I know in some games you need treasure to progress, but I'm not sure this is one of them. Like, you need you need to get to the talisman type thing in each level. You want a quick summary of your progress in a world? You can press the guidebook button to open the guidebook page for the... Yeah, I know. Thank you. Like, Spyro 1, you need a certain amount of treasure to finish. Spyro 2, uh, you need to buy the moves in order to progress, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so you need to buy, get a little bit of treasure for that to work. Spyro 3, though, like, I've only seen money bags doing things that are theoretically optional. Right? Unless, unless I needed to rescue Sheila. Hmm. I don't know, it's something I'm gonna think about. Also, seriously, is that duck who's swimming around, like, an, an enemy, or... Just, like, a random duck? Can I zoom the camera out a bit so I can see him better? That'd be great. I don't know if I need to kill him or not. Like, if he has a gem, I need to kill him, but I don't know if he has a gem. <laughs> uh, or if I even can kill him. No, I got him. I got him. Oh, okay. So he was just a... Like a mook. Like a, uh, like a, a slug or whatever, who just had a butterfly. Like this one. Huh. I assume because he was so difficult to hit, he'd have some super duper reward, but he didn't. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa! Oh, hello. Pineapple. Hello. Uh, that didn't work. Oh, that's what you meant to do. Okay. I figured you were supposed to jump over the barrel and then, like, run up and get him, but that doesn't work. The barrel is too big to jump over. This works, though. Hello, pineapple. Oh, hang on, hang on. Can I? Yes! I am smart. <laughs> How do you do that if you've taken out all the enemies? Do they need to respawn or? Hmm. Because presumably you need to do that, right? Looks like that's where the next part of the level is. Hang on. To make sure I don't miss breaking something. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Okay. This extremely reminds me of the Smart Bombs part in Odyssey. <laughs> <sighs> I 
Which I mean, I know this game is much older, so Odyssey obviously took inspiration from this rather than the other way around, but still. <laughs> Oh, I guess there's the Sheila segment in this level. Hello. Oh, I think I came the wrong way. I think I was supposed to go from this direction. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, yeah, I did that wrong. Okay. Uh, I should backtrack to here, because I'm guessing, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff going on down here. I mean, there's some stuff. Jason? I mean, you are underwater. Kind of fair to be sad if you hatch underwater. <laughs> huh, I figured there'd be like a side passage or something down here, but it doesn't seem to be. Um, well, on with the main path, I guess. Do -do 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 Um, we can dive into the water over here, right? Yep. Uh, what have we here? A uh, bunch of enemies. Yeah, yeah, the underwater part of this parts of this game are not well designed. They are very jank. <laughs> Which is a shame because I like to think they're pretty decent underwater controls, but they have a lot of problems. I mean, they're better than Sunshine's underwater controls. Those were real bad. I don't know what they were thinking with that. It was very weird to have such strange swimming controls in a game about water. Ow. Me a duck. Yeah, it is very hard to hit the underwater ducks. I don't know if that's deliberate, <laughs> but it, it is the case. Um, this level design is interesting, actually. Like, there's a lot of diving under and surfacing in different areas of the world. Guru the Rhinoc has challenged us to a naval battle. Our speedboat versus his nuclear shark submarine. If we win, we'll get the dragon egg he's guarding. If we lose, we'll have to spend a month doing kitchen patrol. What do you say? Do you... Yeehaw! Good luck. B to speed up, A to fire missiles. Okay. So, am I... what am I trying to do exactly? How do I steer this thing? Oh, oh, I see. It's it's not turn left and right. It's it's push the stick the direction you want to go. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, this is very manageable. Is there a way to get more fairy upgrade? Uh, I would like some more more dragonflies. Oh god. I came in here with a blue dragonfly. This is not a good start. I kind of assumed it would have a separate health meter, but it, it doesn't.
There should be butterflies in some of these like crates and stuff, but they don't seem to be. Come at me, nerd submarine. Yeah. Wow. That's the first time Pluto has ever lost. You dragons must have a ton of talent. I hope this egg was worth all the trouble. It's Jackie. Oh, look at that little bow. <laughs> Cute. Um, well, now I guess I just gotta head in here and just kill everything. And I guess just dive under and make sure I don't miss any gems. Uh, without a dragon, it's kind of annoying to pick up gems, especially underwater. No, dragon, a dragonfly without sparks. Um, so I'll have a little, little bit of a look around and see if I can find sparks first. Uh, it doesn't look like he's in here though, so maybe I should go out and get a sparks and come back. Because um, sparks just like automatically grabs gems that are nearby without Spyro having to touch them. Uh, which makes getting things a lot easier, as you can might expect. Oh no. That it made it to the end of the tunnel without a scratch. The bad news is that there's no way to get it back out now. Oh no. The tunnel is chock full of rhinox and floating mines. Uh, all right. Why did you do that though? That seems like a terrible idea. Oh, Rhinox is in Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros, right, they're the bad guys. That, that explains why I keep seeing them, but I mean, they are an endangered species. <laughs> I guess dragons are more endangered in that there aren't any. Like, there are zero dragons. Um, so maybe it makes sense. I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's no like health here. It's just if you hit a mine at all, you lose. Surprisingly good fluid dynamic characteristics. From now on, all of our submarines will be egg shaped. Okay, nerd. Duke. Nuke him? Oh no, it's Duke. Duke Sneezy. It's a, it's a different one. Adorable. Skill point acquired. Catch the funky chicken. Did I catch a funky chicken? I, I guess, I guess the, the one that was swimming around was funky. I, I thought it was just how you got sparks back. That's why I did it. But you know, if it's also funky, then that's cool. I enjoy funky things. <laughs> okay, we've got a golden sparks again. Let's head back over there. Oops. Let's mess it up though. Uh, I think that adds a little more color to our adventures if I mess up. How are we doing? This is a big level. Uh, I probably shouldn't have gone one more level because this one is much bigger than the previous one. Like, there's a lot more stuff to do here. Even if the numbers are about the same, uh, there's just more stuff. It's like more side quests and areas and stuff. Okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you. One of the Rhinox had this egg in his lunchbox. Oh no, they were gonna eat Dizzy. Well, we got Dizzy, and we didn't even touch Fuzzy.
Ah, oh, the level's a big loop. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, on the, it's a big loop on the map, so it makes sense that it turns out to actually be a big loop as well. <laughs> uh, okay. How are we doing? Yeah, there's still a bunch more stuff to do. Um, I guess we want to go to Sheila's side area and see how much stuff that, that gets us done through with. Uh, easiest way to get there is probably this way. Oh wait, hang on, there's more stuff to do here as well though. There was... Wait, where was it? There was another passage... Here! I think it was this one? No, no, no not that one. There was another passage here somewhere that I've forgotten about. Was it just you go up once you've gone in here? Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, then you get to here, and there's another side area through here. Okay. And then there were gems down here, which are the ones I didn't get yet because I didn't have sparks. Right. Not that sparks really helps you with the ones in jars. Gotta break the jars yourself, unfortunately. Still, it's less of a hassle to getting the ones that aren't in jars, so that's something. And the jars have a bit of a bigger hitbox than the actual gems, I think. Okay, I think that's everything down here. Let's just surface and get gem collecting. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. How are we doing? 288. Mm, that's alright. It's like a decent number. Anything else down here? Mm, doesn't look like it. It would be nice to have like an indication that you got everything in a particular room. Like in Odyssey. <laughs> uh... But this game doesn't have that. It's just got a whole level complete thing. I guess it has that little radar tracking down like where you need to go. So that's something. Uh, this direction, I think. Oh, you pointed me towards Sheila's area. All right, that makes sense. Let's go play as her for a while. Hi, Spyro. Some of my Hi. friends are trying to take down a Rhinoc fortress. I'm about to go and lend a foot. I love the smell of singed Rhinoc in the morning. Okay. Right, her controls are weird. I forgot about this. Can she swim? Uh, yes, but not dive. Okay, I mean, that makes it a bit easier to track down everything, so I don't need to go underwater. Uh, it does mean I have to make these jumps better, though. It was supposed to be a high jump, but it was lower than the other jump. Her controls are weird, by the way. Oh, that was a double jump. That's no problem. Hang on. Oh my god. <laughs> She's so hard to control. Why are her controls so weird? Okay, there we go. Hi, Sheila. The Rhinox have built a fortress on our beach, and we're going to blow it to smithereens. We just need you to take out all the turrets for us. We're okay. Now, so just make sure to stomp all those turrets before the fuse runs out, okay? Don't, 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 don't. Uh. What, why are you lighting the fuse now? Why don't you wait until I'm ready? I meant to. What am I meant to do with this? Can I, like, ground pound it or something? Or is that not one of the turrets I'm meant to be breaking? Uh, I guess I can't break that one. I can break that, though. Okay, what have we here? No, you can't can't kick them like that. What are we doing here? Um, what does want me to do? Well, I'm dead. <laughs> um, I'm confused. Um, this is a confusing experience. 
And after I liked the previous level so much, Maybe what is happening? Sure, whatever. Stomp all the turrets. Is there like a control that I've forgotten about that that this character has? A uh, move list. Uh, total character. Sheila, jump, air hop, stomp, smash, B X. Okay, that's what I'm supposed to be doing with the turrets. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. For some reason it only smashes one thing at a time instead of all the things, which is very annoying. Uh. Sheila, you are very bad at this game. Oh god, there's so many of them. Why did they light the fuse immediately? That makes no sense. Wait until I'm done and then light the fuse. Seriously, why can you not run behind a pile of things and have them all break? Like in Odyssey. <laughs> I like Odyssey a lot, okay? It's my favourite of the games. <sighs> Jumping high as Sheila is just so counterintuitive. Cause she's got a double jump, but she's also got to bounce higher if you jump for, well, after jumping jump. And they use sort of the same button controls, and one of them's terrible and one's really good. <sighs> what? What, 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 why? Stop, stop lighting the fuses so quickly. It makes no sense. You're so bad at your jobs. Oh cool, it didn't actually heal me when it restarted, so I'm, I still have no sparks. <sighs> have you noticed I'm a little frustrated? Okay, I have sparks now. Now I don't have sparks again. Having fun. <laughs> Ready to try stomping the turf? I guess. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Okay, you just jump, you kick, you jump, kick, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you don't need to jump up super high, you can break the boxes on top just by using a jump and then a kick. Uh, and then you can smash the stuff without needing to worry about the annoying physics for the super high jump. Or hop, or whatever it's called. Oops. <laughs> accidentally pressed the home button. Seriously, why did they light the fuses for the bombs before I've done this bit? This doesn't make sense. And like, all the all the turrets come back if the bombs go off in their hands? Like, what? Okay, that time I got them all. I'm just gonna go in. And they run away. There were three of them, where's the other one? Wow, I can't believe I survived that blast! <laughs> oh my god. Molly. Hello, Molly. Alright, well, um... 
We got. Thanks, Snappy. The seal. Is there any more treasure left to find here? Yeah, I think there's some back this way. Because that first turret I didn't kill, did I? Oh, maybe I did. Hang on. Hmm. Anyway, that's the annoying Sheila segment of this area done. Hang on. Want me to go over there? What? Can I go over there? Or does it just mean go back out of this area and play as Spyro again? Which is possible. Like, that could be what it means. Just want to make sure, though. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything over there. See, the circle, it's not quite where the portal is. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my god, you're so slow in water. Ridiculously slow. Okay. Okay, uh, how are we doing here? 370. Uh, hop to the secret cave. So, hopping. That means as Sheila, right? Or does it not? Hmm. Maybe I do it as a spire when there's just something I've missed? Oh, hello treasure. How do I get up there? Oh, there's another entrance. Um, how do I reach that entrance? Uh, this direction? Oh, right, yeah, that. Can I glide to there? The flutter, maybe? Uh, it looks a bit tight. I don't like my chances. It's that's a very tight jump. Nope, I can do it. <laughs> Hello. Never would have crashed that submarine if Sal hadn't tried a handbrake U-turn during an inverted barrel roll. If you say so. Okay, that's everything in here. Okay, Spyro is now circ sorry, Sparks is now circling over there. I think that means go back into the Sheila area. <sighs> we are quite close to getting everything. The last egg is called Hop To, which suggests you've got to do it as the kangaroo character, because that's what kangaroos are known for doing. Hopping. <sighs> Alright, here we go. The secret cave. Um, this looks like a normal wall to me. There isn't a whole lot of options for hiding secrets here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, okay, I found it. Uh, hello, Jared. Okay, and then we just do a head bonk on this, or whatever the character's equivalent of a head bonk is, and that gets us the last couple of gems. Oh no. 3.99? Oh no. Oh no, that last lousy gem, where could it be? Okay, Sparks is circling the portal, so hopefully when we go back this way, it'll be really obvious where we need to go. Uh, through there? Hmm. I think that means earlier in the level? Like this sort of direction?
jetzt das Okay, it's in this one somewhere. Hang on, the, the boat's back. Do I need to use it again? Can I use it again? Doesn't look like it. I am very confused. Okay, okay, we got it. <sighs> Why did the boat respawn? You can't interact with it. It's weird. Okay, level complete. Yeah, I shouldn't have done a one more level there. That, um, like, trebled the size of the video. <laughs> oh, well. I think that's everything in the first world, though, so that, that's cool. Uh, Sunrise Spring is done. Um, I don't think we've learned a new move yet. I don't know if you learn new moves in this game. Uh, we got a new character. We got Sheila, but she's not super fun to control, so... Uh, that's, that's something. <laughs> they might have changed it from Spyro gets new moves to you just get extra characters. Let's head on over to the balloon. I guess the balloon is ready to use now, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that next video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um... In theory, I should be able to get all the stuff in Sunrise Spring, right? Let me just finish that off before we go. Uh, maybe it's just like a gift for doing this or something? The balloon's all ready. No? Is there treasure behind the balloon? No, it's, it's, it's on the other side somewhere. Okay, let me just go grab that first and then we'll call it a video. Because it's super close to being done. Uh, Is that it? Don't know yet, there's, there's a bit more. Something here? Ah, there we go. Okay. Present level complete. Okay. So Molten Crater, it looks like we need to do some stuff we can't do yet to finish that one. So we'll have to come back once we've gone to World 2. But everything else we have done. Uh, except for the Speedway, because I don't enjoy those. <laughs> Uh, I might have a look off camera. Well, maybe I'll have a look on camera. I don't know. But either way, that's the end of Sunrise Spring for now. Do you like the active? Okay. Uh, it's fine. Sh shush. <laughs> uh, next time, I guess I'll get in the balloon and we'll go to the next world. Oh, and there's something over here for Spark that I guess we'll unlock. So we may need to come back to do that as well. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.